first things first, I wanted to actually get the biomes under a little bit under control. So the height for the, the medium one was a little bit too high. I would have probably said, say that's probably the height we want for the large one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the, I think it's under uh, biome generation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over this the biome height and the biome height variation over to the large one. So again, I need to go over here. So what we need is 2.5 roughly for here and 0 0.8. This should be good enough. And then what we we're going to do is we're going to actually open up our small one. We're going to kind of see where that falls in between the... So I would almost say if we increase the large one to about 3... And then keep the variation at, I'll go probably, I don't know, how high can this go? It can go up to 2, right? So we'll go 0 0.8, we'll leave it at 0 0.8. And then what we'll do is we'll have the height set to 3. This should not be too tall. And then our small will be... Um, height variation probably we're using eight there so we'll go four and that's 0 0.5 yeah okay so and then what we'll do is we'll go for our medium uh, 1.5 and we'll go variation six now the variation should allow the structures that we basically spawn in our trees with to have um, more density when it's at a lower number. So if it's a higher number, it's gonna have a harder time finding the terrain that it needs to basically spawn the structure at. So I've designed it in a way where the height variation, if it's more flat, the more trees will spawn in that general area. So that's why I am lowering the um, the density as um, basically, um, or the height variation as I'm doing the different levels of biomes as well. So the if all works out, then the um, the the large one will basically have um, less trees, but the medium and small will have a little bit more. Uh, medium being somewhere in the middle. All right. So now that we got that all set up, I'm just going to save all these biomes and then we're going to actually recreate that other uh, world that we had last time and we're going to see what we can come up with and see what changes that we've actually made so i'm going to hop in game in just a second all right so i am in game now and i am looking at the medium version so the medium version is just about the same height as the extreme hill biomes it's a little bit taller not by much but um it's a little bit more flat than the other one as you can see, there's a lot of uh, flat area around here. Now, I think this is all medium. So all in here is medium, I think, up to, yeah, all the way into the village. So as you can see, there's a lot of flat area that trees can possibly spawn at. Like this looks like it is um, about five blocks. So some trees can spawn in here for sure. And uh, some of the other places around here, there's tons of flat area. And there's also a lot of... Um, different levels and stuff that it can basically spawn the trees on. Now, this is the uh, large one. So this, as you can see, there is some places that it can spawn on. Um, not a lot though. Uh, probably, you could probably do a couple in this area. If you do a couple terrain offsetting and stuff like that, there could be some in there easily. Um, up here will be possibly some spots, but there isn't a lot of um, flat areas. So there's going to be a lot of less um, trees in the extreme, like the large variation of it. But uh, for the most part, as you can see, it's a lot more uneven terrain as well. And if we go over to this one over here, this is actually the small version of the maple forest now as you can see it's um, going to be a lot more dense because it's a lot more flat 
there isn't a lot of um, terrain spikes and uneven terrain and stuff like that. Now, all this area could definitely have a lot of trees in it. And then even in this section here, maybe even up to this point, uh, there will be trees. So there's going to be mostly trees on the lower parts, a little bit on the medium. And then there's also going to be a decent um, or a very few on the actual top of the high mountains and stuff like that. So hopefully um, when we actually start bringing in our trees and stuff. All right. So I ended up trying to update the... Um upgrade the actual M creator version and it seems to be an issue with the actual procedure from the looks of it. I'm not sure why it's happening. It used to work, but it could just be a conflict with something. Uh, so we're not going to be using this script. This is what it would have looked like um, before basically um, better generation and stuff like that. But sadly, we can't do that right now. I will try to update the procedure in the near future to get it uh, working again but I don't have the time to actually create this um, thing from completely scrap from from scratch and stuff like there's a lot of minor stuff to go over and stuff like that and have to remake it and everything so I'm gonna have to watch the video and uh, set it up again but uh, we can make do without um, it's interesting the variables actually did import so I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, all right, so let's just create the structures and then we can just work with that and then I'll show you how to basically set up the structures then. So first thing uh, we need to do is basically just create a structure. We're gonna call this uh, our maple tree and then we're gonna set this to one. And then we want to spawn our maple tree one and we're gonna probably increase this by 25,000 for the possibility of it spawning. Um, we can also change the maximum size of how many st structures spawn in an area. I'm not going to actually do that. I'm just going to leave it at one. All right. So there, um, because I'm using the snapshot, it's not stable, of course, right? So it's not um, going to be fully uh, proper when things are in other words there's going to be bound to be bugs and stuff so the script that I basically had probably would have worked on a regular version but because of the snapshot I encountered a bug where additional conditions completely break the um, loading screen um, the basically the world from generating if it's in the spawn chunk so I've had to disable it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you basically what it would look like um, with the structures not generating with the additional conditions. Obviously, if you were able to test for a certain area, if there's flat enough space, then you can probably get away with getting it a little bit more accurate on the terrain level. But uh, because we can't do that, it's obviously going to be uh, floating structures and stuff like that. So hopefully they can fix that before the official release. I've been trying to get their attention, but uh, so far it looks good um, it, with the exception of a couple floating structures and stuff like that. Uh, I'll cover over the script in just a second, um, like the, the settings. But again, there's going to be some floating structures because we can't use our script and uh, we can't make sure that it's uh, the block below is um, a grass block to be at the very least. But uh, for the most part, it looks pretty good. We have like an entire thing here. It would look way better if it was if we could use that custom script, but it clearly is not um, possible at the moment because 1.17 doesn't support it for one thing and um, the uh, script won't actually load on either version so I'll try to fix up that script um, after 1.17 gets it fixed I think and um, yeah overall it looks pretty good I think we'll work on next episode some textures for maybe some um, particle effects that happen. We can do some leaves falling or something like that. And um, 
overall it looks pretty good. There's a village here and everything like that. So uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.